Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are back in action per usual, and we have a big day of Sunday content to talk about FIBA 21 with upgrade packs. That's the hugest and biggest thing that's coming out today on this game is the upgrade packs. What kind of packs will there be? There hasn't been any code released. Could that mean player picks? Let's talk about it, right? Let's talk about it. Let's see what we can be could be coming today. Rares are rising on the market. People are preparing. There's also other areas of the market that I think we could get involved in. And the rest of the market itself, like in terms of meta players, is dropping. And that makes sense, I think, for what we are having today on this game. I want to talk about all those possibilities and even how I made some coins yesterday. Now, also, GG's to Chelsea, champions of the Champions League, uh, winning the game yesterday. I forgot to talk about that, honestly, in my video last night. Um, but... GG's, the Werner Showdown card is going to get that plus two. The Conte Man of the Match item, people somehow thought that this Conte card was a live item. And uh, so today, this Conte Man of the Match went from 260,000 coins uh, up to like 330k. Now he's back down a little bit. Obviously a very rare card, but 300 and 3, 317, 319 is what that card's sitting at right now. So kind of crazy right there. But if you have that card and it's up, I would take the cash because it's definitely going to be dropping off. But anyways, League One team of the season cards. This is what everybody is chasing after today because it's, again, a Sunday on FIFA. And that means upgrade packs. And that has a lot of people hyped. Now, of course, there's a lot of cards in here. There's going to be some troll flags, right? You're going to see Brazil left wing back instead of Brazil cam, Brazil center mid. There's going to be so many French trolls, right? You've got Andre. You've got, I mean, Bamba is going to be solid, but Klaas, Laborde, if you're trying to go after a Yedder and Mbappe, there's plenty of trolls in there for that. Marquinhos as well for the Brazilian uh, flag. But for upgrade packs today, I really, really hope that EA makes it hype. Now, right now, for the start of League One team of the season, we had one good day and one kind of just okay day. Now, of course, for day one with our insane SBC, incredible value. So many people are doing this card, right? French links OP and League One links OP as well. But then day two, yesterday they dropped this Joe Gomez, which is a really cracked out card as a center back option. But I think that right now people are just thinking this card is a bit overpriced. And with all of the fullbacks and the center backs that people already have, they're not wanting to go out and pay 480,000 coins while fodder is kind of cheap, to be honest with you, and get this card. So this might be an SBC some people craft during the week. I'm sure he's pretty good in game, but I think a lot of people don't want to play with Joe Gomez anymore. They saw him so much earlier in the year for this gold card that they don't want to touch him, right? 10,000 dislikes on this game on Footbin. Crazy. So, albeit, I do think this card is going to get completed and you're going to see him pop up in Weekend League because a lot of your casual fans and people that run the Premier League squads year-round will do this card. So, I'm not saying nobody's doing this SBC, but I think we were kind of hoping for more um, team of the season type content and, and not just uh, a UCL related SBC. But hopefully, that means that we're going to get more content today on Sunday related to the League One. And I really think we should be seeing another flashback or a player SBC today. That would be quality from EA Sports. But alongside of those, everybody's talking about the upgrade packs, right? Now, rares right now are like 1.2K, 1 to 1. You, you can get them on a bit for like 1K, right? Uh, if we check out gold rares, most of them are selling almost instantly for 1.2K. You can see here we have a couple pages at 1.2K. So people are really gearing up for upgrade packs. Now, whether you're buying these to do the packs or to invest. I'm going to be buying these to actually do the packs and to open the packs. Um, I still think that 1.2K, if they put out good packs today, or if there's any sort of player pick, and that's what I want to talk about today as well, uh, is that we have not seen any code released yet for packs, whether it's like an 85, 85 plus pack like we had for mm, the La Liga or uh, an 83 plus times five like we have for the Bundesliga. We have not seen anything like that. Even like a one of three 80 plus pack, or sorry, not a, not a pick, but like a 80 plus pack from La Liga. So what I'm really curious to see today is I 100% think that they're going to be dropping that premium League One pack. So the, the pack that gives you the 12 cards, all gold with three rare, I think that's 100% coming. But I hope that we get the 81 plus player pick today. And I hope 
that we get a league specific player pick. Now, according to the schedule, what we have seen in the past couple weeks, we shouldn't be getting league specific player picks this week because we had them for league. We had them for La Liga. They took a week off and then we had them for um, Serie A last week. So technically this week, we shouldn't be getting that in the game today. But if we were going to be getting the normal 80 plus League One pack that we had for the Bundesliga and for the Premier League, that should have been added to the code. And since that has not been added to the code, what's going to come today? That's the biggest question. Now, last year, if you guys remember last year, I got insanely, insanely lucky. And I mentioned it yesterday. I packed the big three, Yetter, Mbappe, and Neymar all on my account last year. But the player pack that we had last year was a player pick. It was a Player pick of five players from the League One. Five rare player player pick. I think it was an 80 plus. So five 80 plus uh, cards from League One. And that was just the most stupid, overpowered upgrade pack ever to grace this game. Now, I don't think that's going to come today because that would be something way different from what they've been doing so far this year. But if they gave us a one of three 80 plus players from League One, League One has so few rares and just so few uh, rare golds on this market on the game that your chances of getting blues from that are going to be insanely high So I hope the upgrade packs are insane today. I really don't want EA Sports to, to slack on this promo man I feel like they've done really good with the cards I mean, of course people are loving this Neymar They're paying out the wazoo for him and you know all around this game I think EA did the juice and they gave a lot of these cards the stats that they deserved and they needed um, and they juice the cards, right? So now give us the good content too. That's kind of the way that I'm viewing it. So I do 100% think that we are going to get that premium pack today for, of course, the um, the 12 players uh, with three rares. I think that's 100% coming today, the League One premium. But then for the, for the League One upgrade pack, I don't know what it's going to be. And that's the thing I'm curious about. And that's what I want to see today. So Regardless, gold rares, I'm going to be buying some of those up tonight because I'm going to spam some upgrades and try to get myself that Neymar, Mbappe, Depay, Di Maria, any of those big boys. Obviously, we're going to give it a shot. So even this Bamba card would be really sick to pack. So that's 100% what everybody is focused on today in FIFA are those upgrade packs. Now, other SBCs we could see. We haven't had specific icon player SBCs in a while, and we also don't have a new icon upgrade SBC added to the code. We had the 91 plus two weeks ago. We had the 92 plus prime. What I think they might do this week, I'm going to say it right now. I think they're going to drop this pack. I think they're going to drop the guaranteed icon moments pack as the SBC. Now, I don't know if it's going to be today or if it's going to be on Monday, but I think that pack would be the one that would come out next um, just because if they're going to release some sort of icon like upgrade pack, that's kind of the next one. I think they've used all their prime options. And now it's time we move into moments. And if they're going to make this a hype week, that's the next step. Now, also with icon player SBCs, people have been throwing out names like Eto, like Mateus uh, for the past couple of weeks. They have not been released yet, right? We need to see big boy SBCs uh, pronto because we did have Gerard, Yashin, and uh, Carlos Alberto with the last set. But Cantona remains to be the biggest card so far as an SBC that we have had in terms of the value of this card on the market at the time when the SBC drops. Now, right now, I actually bought a Cantona today uh, to try to trade with. And while I'm not really making coins at the moment, I made a lot of coins elsewhere in other areas as I was actually on the drive back from vacation. Uh, I bought this Ukaku at 1.2. I bought this Eusebio at 2.8. That was a 50K flip. I bought this Best. That was actually two days ago. I bought this at um, a million coins flat. So Nice profits here, right? I bought this at 648. I bought both of these at 205 and 210. I bought this Ansu Fadi at 830. And then I got this at 2.48, which uh, I thought was really, really low. But he's just he's just staying very low. He's right around 2.5 right now, which is kind of crazy to me. But this card is ridiculous. I played him in two two games in weekend league. He had four goals. Uh, and he is unbelievable. So uh, that card for me was insane. But I still think that Icon SBC price point for Cantona is is too high. That SBC should be 2 million coins right now because fodder is low, right? Fodder is low. And with no really, really hyped SBC coming yesterday, we saw fodder even go lower, which I still think. I, I actually went in. You saw the 84s in my transfer list. I went in and I bought some fodder because... I did a club stock of 84s because that stuff, in my opinion, literally has to go up this week. So 84s to 86s is kind of the range that I like. 83s still being almost 3K, I'm not a huge fan of those. 
I mean, look how, look at the difference here between 83s at 3K and 84s at 5.5K. That's crazy. That's crazy. So if you're somebody who does not want to do upgrade packs this week, if you're waiting for ultimate tots, or if you just want to make some coins and do upgrade packs later in the week, I would go in on fodder. I really would. I think 84s, 85s, and 86s are the play. If we get any big time SBCs this week, um, and of course, when the guarantees come out, that's almost guaranteed rock fodder as well. So this fodder is probably going to start going up a little bit today into tonight, unless we have like really, really bad content. I still think that's a good investment or a club stock as well. Now for the rest of the market, a lot of the stuff is dropping, right? People are getting prepared to full send. I think you're going to see the market drop more today. Like this Lukaku I sold at 1.3, he's already back down to 1.1. 1 .1. Wow, no way. 1.12, yeah, I'm getting, this is getting to be a situation once again. So that got bought, okay, 1125. So some of these cards are, are very rare still, and they're going to fluctuate a lot based off of rarity. Uh, like this Lewandowski was 1.8 earlier uh, on, on Saturday. He went back up to 2 mil. He's now back down to 1.8, but, you know, you see these fluctuations right now on the weekend. So it's going to be harder today to trade with prices dropping off. But if you find some really rare cards like this Ansu Fati, um, there's one at 900 K that is sitting right now. And then mine is the next cheapest at 930. So that is perfectly, uh, what I wanted to happen with that card. This Ben Yedder was just down. He still is. He's under 1.7 mil, which is crazy. I mean, 1.68 for this card. He was 2.2 mil yesterday. Um, that card's really rare. If I sell Cantona, I might go buy rares and try to buy this Ben Yedder because I think that card, even though he's not very hyped, he's still a very rare item that a lot of people, want to try out. So if I could get one at like 1.6 in the low 1.6s, I still think I'll be able to sell that at 1.8 in the morning. We've only got one page and a couple overnights at 1.8. So, I mean, it, people are going to wake up and see that price being really, really low and that might make them want to go and try the card. So yeah, there's definitely going to be the market dropping off today as well. Would you try, would I try to invest in some of the out of pack specials today or maybe some icons? Probably not. I don't think I would really invest in any of that today. The only thing you could be watching out for um, is stuff that gets hit by SBCs, right? Like, let's say we have a player SBC that comes out. My, my biggest example is like last week from Kessie, right? From Kessie. So last week, this Kessie card was like, you know, 800,000 coins, and then they dropped the nine goal in SBC, and this guy dropped a ton, right? Uh, he rebounded back, though, later in the week. So, you know, especially this week, if they drop like a Kenny Lala, Kenny Lala would be the absolute perfect flashback SBC for them to drop this week uh, because of his his um, his team of the season cards and the hype that he has had in, in previous FIFAs. So like watch this Sambia, this Junior Sambia for birthday card is up a lot. And you know, uh, how much is he right now? 65K for this guy with 92 pace, a really good looking card and five star skills. This is like an OP cheap beast right back in the league one. If they release a La La Tots card, even if everybody does the SBC, this card's probably going to drop down to like 40K again, and he's going to rise up. The cheap special cards from these leagues have been doing incredibly well, especially as we're getting later on into these these promos into team of the season where a lot of people don't have coins. Like this Le Melu, I've got one on my transfer list that I bought at 35K and he's about 40,000 coins right now. I'm probably going to take the cash because he's probably going to drop off more today. But that'd be a card that if this gets into the mid to low 30s, I would get interested in because there's really not a lot of Tots cards that are this level. Uh, you know, so I would definitely look into stuff like this because People that are on very low budgets are still going to try to link cards that they pack from like a guaranteed TOTS SBC that they do later in the week. So I would 100% keep an eye on this sort of stuff. Now, of course, I did mention trying to trade with Ben Yedder, right? That's going to be a risky, risky trade because a lot of these cards are just going to continue dropping off. People are going to be selling these as we get towards content because they're going to uh, think about more lightning rounds coming. They're going to think about that supply, which won't be that much. But the panic selling and the supply Sunday night during squad battle rewards as the weekend league ends is really going to make these cards drop more. So maybe you try some risky flips in the morning if you want to. But if you don't, just be waiting on the upgrade packs, man, right? Just be waiting on those packs and be ready for the content that comes out today. So to be honest, boys, that's kind of what we're expecting today, right? A huge day of content with the upgrade pack SBCs. Um, now, if you haven't done any actual player SBCs, it's... If you if you bought rares, I'll say this right now. If you bought rares and you're going to be crafting, sorry, my controller turned off. One sec. Um, if you bought rares and you're going to be crafting SBCs today, 
like with the duplicates that you get, the walkout and the board duplicates that you get, I mean, if you can, if you have not done Awar yet, or if you have not done Oblak or even Willock, some of these really easy SBCs, or maybe you start like an 83 rated squad for an icon, I would try to not turn in all of your SBC fodder that's high rated yet. Because again, we have so many days left coming throughout. Um, there are so many days of this League One Tots with again, SBCs like Lala potentially coming out or maybe EA go all out and they drop like a Renato Sanchez or an Atal SBC, right? So if that kind of happens too, that's going to send the market into a whole nother level of panic and a whole nother level of just craziness. So you know, be careful with your fodder is what I would say. Um, maybe you, you stock the club, maybe you invest a little bit, stick to those 84 to 86 range. And uh, if you're trying to trade with special cards, good luck, because there's going to be coins to be made today for sure, especially on out-of-packs icons, because there's going to be hours of panic selling, and then it's going to rebound, but it's going to be risky, right? Like this Ansu Fati, you saw me snag one at 830, and now this guy is 900K, right? So um, I'm going to hope for two sales, that, and then my card sells. Same thing with like this Eto, right? He really didn't rise up that much this weekend. If this guy gets down to like 550 today, he could very easily bounce back up over 600 and boom, there you have a profitable flip. Same thing with this Mendy. If I see him at like 640, I know we can go back up to 700 because it looks like 699 might be the cheapest one on the market. So you're gonna have fluctuations like that today. It's just how much you wanna risk. Like this Lukaku, man, is really tempting to me. If I see 1.1, if I had those coins, I would buy the card, man. And wow, dude, this is so cheap for Lukaku because he was 1.3 earlier, and that's a very, very rare Tots card on the market. So, you know, watch out for your center backs as well because center backs were hurt on the market this week uh, or yesterday because even though it seems like not a lot of people are doing the Joe Gomez, cards like this, this Lacroix card is very rare and is going to be a card that goes up with rewards next week because of the French nationality links and people still running guys like Mbabu in their team. So if this guy's in the low 400s for whatever reason uh, on the PlayStation or even like 430, I might get interested if you want it for your team or if you want to make kind of an investment. I know we have the Kempembe card, but those Bundesliga links and the French nationality, there's a lot of cards out there that are like that with the French links. They're going to be very useful for hybrids later on this week. So yeah, man, today's a huge day because it's upgrade pack season. It's upgrade pack grind time. A lot of you guys have been waiting and saving your packs and waiting to spend your coins on rares to do upgrade packs for this promo right here. And it's all about to go down this week. So we're going to try to get this tots counter right now. What am I at? I'm at 44 blues. So I'm going to try to get this tots counter up to like, I don't know, man, above 50, right? Above 50. And of course, try to hit one of the big boys this week as well. I hope EA help us out though, by putting out insane upgrade player picks because the picks are greater than the packs this year for sure. So that's the market in my opinion today. Again, if you want to buy any of those League One Tots for a longer term hold, wait, right? If you want to buy Neymar and Mbappe, wait, we have Alton Tots coming next week. We're going to talk a lot about that later on this week and how that is going to affect the market as well. But that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan for the Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.